The end is nigh, the season is coming to an end, and if Celtic win today, they will win the league. It will be mathematically impossible for anybody to catch them, um, and they've been in such great domestic form this season, you wouldn't put it past them winning it at Tyne Castle against Hearts today. Yeah, there we go. Look how many goals they've scored. Look at their goal difference. Um, five games to go. How many points clear? 13. So, yeah, a win today would do it for them we've seen a lot of celtic this year especially on the road and we are on the road again today we're halfway to tyne castle so let's get down to edinburgh for another match day vlog And we mustn't also forget what a big day it is for Hearts today, who are obviously going for Europe. The split has happened now, and so all the top teams are playing each other, all the bottom teams are playing each other. I was at Hibs St Mirren yesterday. Hibs won and have got very close to Hearts in the table. And um, yeah, Hearts were third for a long time. Their form was poor. They sacked Robbie Nielsen. Stephen Naismith is now interim manager. Aberdeen are above them there in fourth. Coming third is such a big advantage. If you come third, you're guaranteed Conference League group stage football at minimum. Um, but fourth, you're not guaranteed group stage football. You have to still qualify through the Conference League. So it is still a huge game for Hearts despite what is on the line also for Celtic. Ethan and Hearts. two Hearts supporters. Yeah. How big is today for Hearts? Obviously it's a big game for Celtic they could wrap up the league but for Hearts you want to go for Europe right? Yes well I think it's a big game because I think it's a tester for Naismith especially Yeah. because obviously last game against County we went all out attacking but it's one of the old firm teams yep. so I feel like if we do the same we have a good performance I'd be quite pleased myself. Yep, and obviously Robbie Nielsen left recently. Naismith's yeah. your interim manager right now. Would you take him long term or? I think today's the test. I think, okay. uh, as he says, it is just depending on how he finishes the season. If yep. he finishes it strong, I think we should give him another chance. You're open to the idea of having yeah, him? I yeah, I'm open to the uh, idea because he's played for Hearts, so he knows how the system yep, works. Of course. How to win stuff. Those little fans so, want, yeah, it? absolutely. Yeah, so I understand. I would give him a chance if he done it all right. And then my final question for you then, obviously we just spoke about Hearts. It is a big day for Celtic as well. How do you think they've done this season? I think Celtic, have, uh, they've done well. They've made a put a good team together, they're connecting with each other really well. Yep. Um, I don't think many teams are going to beat them anytime yeah. soon at this rate. John and Liam. And you're both over from Derry, is that right? From Derry, yeah. For the game, Celtic supporters. How do you think Ange has done this season? Ange is he's doing, he's doing the job. Like, yeah. I think it has to be a bit more of work in, in terms of Europe, you know? Yep. You think that's where you need to improve for next season is Europe, yeah? 100%. I think and that's where, you know, in terms of domestic football, we're, we're dominating. Yeah. And talking of domestic football, you could win the league today. Are you expecting a win? Yeah, well, I think so now for the treble. Yeah, on the way game of Tank Castle, it's going to be tough, you know, it always is. But yeah. It's um, Vickers and Johnston, be right, you know, could be Ashley maybe, and then Rawson step up to a plate. I think we'll. I think you do all right. What do you reckon the score will be? 3-1 Celtic. 3-1 Celtic yeah, and? 3-1 we'll Celtic. Yeah. Celtic supporters, yeah? yeah? How do you think Celtic have done this season? Uh, I think they've it's done fun. really good, but yeah. that draw against Motherwell. They that did have their enough. best Hello. players. Yeah, and do you think they'll be better today then? Yes, I think they will win. And who's been the player of the season for you for Celtic? Uh, the player of the season, probably Cal McGregor. Cal McGregor, and for you? Um, maybe Hatati. Hatati, and what's your football team called? Uh, Crystal from Dynamo's prediction. 5-1. To Celtic? Yes. And? 2-1 to Celtic. Nice. There we go. And what about you? You're a heart supporter, yes. as I can see. What's the score going to be today? Hmm. It's probably not going to be this, but this is what I hope it's going to be. 5-0 to heart. <laughs> see what he thinks about that. Probably not. It's probably not. Lee, big Hearts supporter, what's the score going to be today? 2-1 Hearts. 2-1 Hearts, and who's been your Hearts player of the season? Uh, Warren Shank from Shanklin, nice one mate, enjoy. Here's the teams for today's Zander Parking goal for Hearts and uh, the main man obviously Shankland captain today and then uh, here is the Celtic team um, with the exception of uh, Carter Vickers and Johnston probably what you
you'd expect, to be honest. Really great atmosphere in here today, not just from the away section, but Hearts fans really seem up for it today as well. Checking a, a potential red for Hearts. That was a yellow card um, originally from the ref. You can see Soic have a free kick over there. Um, but VAR are checking it. It will be changed from a yellow to a red. Ref's over to look at the monitor. What do you think, mate? You reckon it was get, get sent off? Hearts have been so good, haven't they? Hearts have been by far the better team. What's the ref going to do? He's coming back. Sub for Hearts as well, Oda is off, had a great game, and uh, Stephen Kingsley's just come on. Hearts may be looking to sharp shop now, but they've been playing really well. They've had probably the better chances, but Celtic have the free kick now. Who's it going to be? Uh, O'Reilly, I think. Oh, I did an insult to injury, they've scored, but oh, he's offside. Bit of drama at the end of the half here. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. They're checking uh, VAR for the goal. How do you reckon it'll pan out for Hearts now? Not sure. Keep the intensity up. Uh, yeah. It'll be hard to keep the intensity with one man less as well there. Preston's been great today. And yeah, VAR have checked it and uh, that goal will not stand, but we're almost at half-time. So I'm flying here and um, a really interesting end to the half there um, with the red card. Um, but I thought, you know, Hearts are actually the better side um, during the first half. But it'll be interesting to see how it pans out now, but yeah, surely Celtic will make the pressure, pressure tell in the second half, but we shall see. The first one I did was in the next half, which was March, April, I did Manchester Marathon. Today I've done uh, 51 miles uh, from Glasgow to Edinburgh. He's run 51 miles today I'm doing to get miles here. In 24 hours. And then September, I'm going to be doing Inverness Cali Thistle down in Tyne Castle, 165 miles in 42 hours. Bloody hell, that's mad. And that's all for the MND Scotland charity. What do you think of the first half? You think the red was a yellow? VAR looked at it, so we'll have to see later. What's the final score going to be? 2-1 Hearts, subscribe to Foot Air Danger. Hearts, five minutes into the second half, even though they've got a man less. Still going forward, still pressing Celtic. Oh, it's been bundled in by Kyogo. And Celtic have barely had a chance, like a clear-cut chance in this game. But they are ahead now. I don't know if they are looking at it. Rio Hattati ran through. He looked on, but they might look at it. And there you go. Celtic, if this stands, are 23 minutes away from being champions of Scotland again.
I've been to quite a few games at Time Castle and it's probably in the best atmosphere I've ever seen here today. Even the home fans are amazing and Hearts played so well. The red card obviously changed the game, but even after the red card, the start of the second half, Hearts came out and on form, absolutely firing. Stephen Naismith seems to have got a tune out of some of the players. I wonder if he'll stay for next season. They're still away behind Aberdeen who are third. You can hear the Celtic fans now. Look at them, they're loving it. There must be a delegation up behind me and I think a lot of the people who have stayed behind here are um, Celtic fans, some Hearts fans down there behind me. Oh, Unfortunate today, uh, yeah, the Hearts fans are gutted but um, yeah, sensational atmosphere and it's been some season for Celtic who are champions once again. What do you think of the game lads? It was actually, actually alright. Hearts played so well. Do you think that was a good card? I'll have to watch it back. If I have looked at it then maybe but I'll have to watch it back. From my point of view, it didn't look the last one I won. Still players coming back, but again, we'll have to right. see it. But Hearts, how good did you play? What do you think about Nate Smith? Nah, he's, 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 he's not out for the job, though. He's doing a good job. Yeah. He's not doing that Nielsen. Maybe keep him round at the club, but get another manager in for next season. That's the thing. Yeah. We need a manager with experience. Yeah. Bobby Keane, he's done his job, now he's away. You can't have a manager for And what do you think about Celtic? Champions, just been crowned. You know what? I'll, I'll, wait, Callum McGregor said after the, cut, after the semi, we need to go into every, like, tournament we yep. want to win the next one yep. that's what I want for Hearts we want to get to in every single season that's what I, that's what I want to there you have it champions again Celtic look at McGregor in the middle leading the celebrations and the away support today, absolutely loving it. Mathematically champion Celtic. Song song now, Jota's out in the front, it was McGregor a second ago. Right guys, I'm back home from the game and um, how fitting is it that Kyogo scored essentially the, the winning goal today? I know O scored one a little bit later on, but it was Kyogo's goal, wasn't it, that um, basically won Celtic the title today. How many times have we seen him score? I think he must be the most prolific player on these vlogs ever. I'm sure it was Nathan Austin at first um, and then I think Morelos might have taken over, but I think Kyogo must be way out in front. I'd love for someone to top that up for me, but um, yeah, Celtic, congratulations on a great year. What is it, 105 goals so far? Fast, still four games to go chasing the record points tally I do believe and um, again quite fitting fitting for Kyogo to be the goal scorer considering how many he scored this season and last season but fitting that they won it today at Tynecastle given that that is where Ange played his first league game didn't he at Tynecastle he lost there he lost three in his first six matches I think he's lost four in his next 75 domestic games, something like that. Um, so, yeah, some absolutely unbelievable scenes from the Celtic fans there at the end. I think it's, what is it now? Uh, 9, 10, 11. 11 trophies, 11 titles in the last 12 years um, for Celtic. The dominance is kind of scary, um, but I'm sure every year that they win it, the fans are absolutely loving it. Um, they're obviously getting close to Rangers 55 now. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think they'll eventually take over um, 55? And I know. I'll be flooded with comments telling me that Rangers have one trophy, but obviously, you know, historically, 55 league titles going to Rangers. Um, let me know what you think and when Celtic will 
potentially overtake them if you think they will. Um, and in terms of complete major honours as well, it's getting very, very close, isn't it? So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching all my Celtic videos this year, Celtic fans. If you type in Footy Adventures Celtic, all my videos um, should come up. So, yeah, I've covered them a lot this year. Some great results, some great games, some great performances. I might even leave a couple of my Celtic videos on screen right now. Um, if you want to learn more about Celtic or see some of their um, amazing atmospheres from down the years, why don't you just click on one of these videos to carry on watching. Congratulations on yet another title, Celtic Football Club, and thank you very much for watching.